We've kept playing well until the last couple of games, and now we're having a bit of a wobble. Big matches today, because if we lose them, we'll fall out of the top six. But as it stands, we could qualify for Europe. Welcome to Project Palomo. I am your old mate DP here in the DP Dome and we have two big matches for you today. We are at home against Frosinone and away against Sassuolo. I'm pretty sure we're away. Let's check because I forget things. Uh, yes, we are away. And as you can see, things have been going really rather well since you lot were last here. I can't remember what we played or when. It was somewhere up around here. Roma and Juve maybe, 1-1, one, one, lost the other, and then uh, we draw against Inter, 2-0 win against Palma, we went on this little bit of a run, uh, a win against Napoli, a win against Medina, who had Mancuso, that was fun, he didn't score, lovely, uh, we beat Torino in the Copa Italia, so we're through to the third round, we will face Atalanta, uh, and then we drew against Bologna, and we lost against Fiorentina, we were absolutely smashed in that game, barely got a shot away, it was very disappointing. In other news, we have a couple of new signings and a bit of a squad registration problem because DP is a bit of a deal. Uh, so, Watra Makmi has come into the club. Uh, squad player, apparently. I gave him a contract as an important player. Even though he's 18, he looks really good. Can't use him. I'll tell you why in a second. But uh, if you're onto it, you'll already know. Otto Graziani, who is Colombian. He's got a very Italian name, but he is Colombian. He can't play for us either, and he would be awesome and would absolutely be an important player we're going to retrain him to play on the wings and probably up front he can't play for us uh because i filled all my non-eu slots if andre's brazilian he's a non-eu player uh the gift from god sikahane he's from africa he's a non-eu player and christian volpato he's australian he's a non-eu player and so is garen kowell actually garen kowell who's away on international duty he is a non-EU player. So is Graziani, so is Macme. So I don't have room in the squad for them with all the other players. That being said, Volpato, I think I'm done with him. Uh, I wanted him to be fantastic. I wanted him to be an absolute superstar, but he's rating this season. He's only played two games, six off the bench, a 6.57. It's just not good enough. He hasn't become the player I hoped he would be. I can't get a performance out of him. He was doing this last season as well, and I think it's time for him to move on if i can get rid of him because i've offered him out for transfer the transfer window is open then otto graziani will get registered i'm trying to loan out uh wachara mac me i'm trying to loan out renzo malanka and some of the youngsters as well just to get them out of the way so i start accidentally selecting them and and getting confused because these things happen we've also had another little mini injury crisis at one point we had gallo out we had pirozzi out we had urbanski out so many players. Ranocchio was injured as well, and it was just an absolute nightmare. And that, oddly enough, was when we were doing quite well with results, which is frustrating. But now Adopo is out again. Another injury for Adopo, which is horrible because he's really important as a defensive midfielder, but we just can't keep him fit. And Gianluca Di Chiara, who I'd love to sell because he's just not good enough, but again, he was trained at the club. We need to keep him around just for registration reasons. So it's all getting a little bit hairy, but league-wise, as things stand, we are right here in fifth place, three points behind Juventus and a Champions League spot. And we're now, uh, what, nine points behind Milan. So, you know, we're not even out of title contention, but we're absolutely not in the title hunt. The job from the board this season was just to stay in Serie A. And the more points we gather, the closer we get to that goal. We know about 35 to 40 points is enough to ensure survival. After that, everything is gravy. But we've been up here for a while. I want to stay in these awesome greeny, bluey spots because there's big, big money in that area of the table. And I would like to have some of it, please. And thank you. But for now, we are going to play Frosinone and hopefully pick up a victory because that would be delicious uh but we're not going to do anything else there because we don't need to here's the squad for the match fruit doing goal gallo back at left back mercandali velukovic as the center backs velukovic now playing as a libero we're getting fancy because we've got inverted wing backs who will cut inside give us extra numbers in the midfield 
uh, but also drop back and help out the defense while Vlugovic goes roaming, helps out Segre uh, behind the two more attacking-minded midfielders. That's the plan anyway. Seems to be working. We are a little bit exposed at the back, but nah, what are you going to do? Uh, so uh, Perotti, uh, right back, Segre, Vranakia and Urbanski as the midfield three, and Saidi, Chayuna and Evandro get the nod going forward. Uh, Vasic, we are going to have to get more involved just because of that injury to Adopo. We need to get some match fitness into him, so expect him to come off the bench, trying to cycle through the defenders a bit more for fitness levels, just trying to manage the squad. But it's really difficult because some players have been in excellent form and I don't want to leave them out because we've been getting results. Other players, Evandro, very inconsistent. But I'm being patient with Evandro. It, it, it is frustrating at times because he's missed some absolute sitters. But he's young. The composure will come. We're just giving him that exposure to a lot of first-team football. And the gift himself has been pretty handy off the bench. He's made some good contributions. It does suck that Garan Kowal has gone away on international duty, though, because he's been a big player for us this season. He was a very good signing. To get him on a free is a marvellous piece of business because he's been everything that we wanted Volpato to be, which he has not, which is very annoying. What is going on here? There we go. Get the league table back up. We're not doing anything. We haven't created any shots and it's all just a little bit toothless and boring. Can we please have a first half highlight at least? <laughs> this is not what we want to see. People are on the internet watching this football manager. I've got people here having a look. They want to see some football. We'll get a text highlight now. Here's Evandro. Where's Evandro? Show me Evandro. Prove it. Evandro doesn't even exist. He's a myth. Like werewolves or Eskimos. They're just not real. Right. Evansky. Through ball to Evandro. Shoots. And Evandro scores. I'll shut my mouth. That is excellent stuff. Finally, he gets another goal. I think now he's equaled Matteo Bonori's output for all of last season. Nori, by the way, over at Monza, what we sold him to, uh, has also scored more goals than he did last season. So the new service was a problem. We just weren't aware how much. Not entirely his fault. He can still score goals at this level. There's Monza there. They do have a negative goal difference, though, which isn't terribly surprising. Matteo Brunori is their striker. Uh, I am happy so far. These are our rivals, by the way. We're playing a derby. I had no idea. These are things that the manager should really know. But I've leveraged that in the team talk. We've got a rise out of the players. Everyone seems happy, pleased, or inspired. That's a good mix of emotions. All positive, all, all uplifting. And that's that's what I do as a manager. I uplift my boys because they're awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me clear my throat. Down. Throat's cleared now. That was a very, very bad impression. Here's Chauna with a free kick, shoots, and that is over. But it was a decent effort. Just could not get it on target. They're telling me to sub Merkandali because he won, he, he is, I'm trying to say, one yellow card away from suspension. And he's headed towards goal, wasn't able to finish, but Walu was there to absolutely leather it into the back of the net. But there's some complaints now, questions of offside. It was right on the line, and that goal's been awarded. And we're two nil up. Chuna with the corner comes in. Uh, Mercadale was there, looping header. Actually, the keeper got a hand to that. I thought it came off the crossbar, but he smacked it down into Wiley's path. And he's just said, Thank you very much. I will bury that one in the back of the net, put it back where it belongs. Beautiful stuff. Oh, another good header for Mercadale. I keep calling you Mercadale, but it's M8. Uh, right, that's not its rating, it's just how it's spelt. Uh, Chuna is very tired, so Shikane can come on for him, and uh, Ranakia can come off for Vasic, and then we'll swap these guys around, and Obanski can play as the Mazala. And then for my final couple of tricks, uh, we're 2 0 up 13 minutes ago. I'm going to give uh, Bataro a run and hopefully generate some. Some loan interest in him, get him off the books, and I think that'll do. I'm not overly keen on making too many more changes. Actually, we'll give, mm, we'll give Wiley. 
No, Mark and Daly. We'll give him a rest and uh, throw him a right net. He never gets to play as a centre back. Probably shouldn't be a ball playing defender, but that's what all he's got. I might just change that and just go central defender. Hey, I said central defender. On defend. There we go. All right, ignore that. Abanski's tired now. Maybe we can make a change. Hopefully, I can move from the defence too much to leave us vulnerable to this counter attack from Frosinone. Come on, let's win the ball back. Uh, Van Joy has had a couple of stints playing as a pressing forward since it was successful, you know, that one time. Oh, dear, oh dear. That's not a deal. Oh, maybe a ball player, I I'm not even paying attention to the highlight because it sickens me. And now we run the risk of uh, conceding an equaliser. We just need the lads to hold on. Everyone's a bit tired. A couple of minutes left. We're at the right end of the park. So let's not give the ball away. And let's get another goal until the three points. Just rip Frosinone's heart out. This is a derby game. Show some passion, lads. Show some show some oomph, some pizzazzy oomph. That wasn't very pizzazzy from Saini, but it had a bit of oomph on the shot. Oh, and there's the gift himself. The gift that keeps on giving. Shakahani with a lovely strike. And another goal for him. He's been good off the bench. This boy is a talent, I'm telling you. And he could be awesome. We need to get some plays out of his way. But when Andre hasn't been firing, occasionally he's come off the bench and made a difference. Him or Garen Kowal have been excellent as subs. Uh, and Kowal has been good as, as a starter on several occasions. But I'm very happy with that. Again, goals have been few and far between for poor little uh, Evandro. He's not had the best of times in his first season in Serie A, but it's a big step up for him, and it's a big ask. Like, hey, kid, come in here and be the main man for a Serie A club. But, you know, more often than not, he's not up to the task. But he was today. He's done really, really well, and now we're level on points with Juventus and only six points behind Milan. And that is fantastic. Next up, we played the team directly below Fiorentina, Sassuolo. And hopefully we can open up a bit more of a gap on them and start working towards possibly securing one of these uh, one of these European spots, which would be crazy. Uh, let me sort out all this stuff. Um, probably won't do any transfer business, to be honest. Maybe another midfielder, but I haven't even started shopping. Once I've sorted through all this rubbish, we'll come back and play Sassuolo. See you in a second. It's game day against Sassuolo. I just wanted to show you a little bit of goings on that have been, well, going on. Uh, coming in, we've put in an offer. I don't know why I've put in an offer for this guy. He's rubbish. Uh, so let me just cancel that. No, thank you. I got a scout report for that guy a minute ago. Anyway, Alberto Maiolo is Italian. He's 17 years old and he looks the business. He's already got a ton of yellow. He's a left back and we need to back up one of those, but he scouted really, really well. So he's seriously at the moment could uh, improve quite a bit. It's not to come into the first team. He's one for the future because obviously there's a whole ton of players ahead of him, but he'd be better than Dicciara <clears throat> even now. So uh, that's a deal that is in the works. And then I don't know why I just left that screen. Heading out of the club, there's a whole lot going on. Uh, Matthew Booty, he's got a great name. I'm never going to use him. He's going to leave and join uh, Venezia from the looks of it for about 250 grand, which is not bad. Renzo Malanca, who is an Argentinian player that we brought in. I'm not going to register him because I'm not going to use him. We're fine at centre-back. We've had loan offers. We've had some transfer offers. We'll take a loss on him. Uh, I paid over the odds uh, 875 grand in total, which is way too much. Uh, but he just didn't develop or, or come good. So... No, not doing that. We have an offer for Mark and Dali of 3.7 million. I've knocked that back because I want to keep him. Uh, a loan for Michelli that the director of football's uh, binned off. A uh, bunch of loan offers for some other players like Pasucci and the youngins who are knocking about the place. Uh, Mancuso. But the big one, Christian Volpato might be leaving. Uh, we brought him in for 450 grand. These are all loan offers. I haven't rejected any of them, but we've negotiated the one 
uh, with Frozenone. But basically, they want to pay a monthly fee, minimal wages, with a mandatory future fee of 750 grand, plus another half a million on instalment. So we triple our money on Valparto, and that would be very, very handy to do so. The other thing that has happened, let me just double check here. Where has he gone? He has vanished off the face of the earth. Uh, should we online or on trial? No, well, not at club. Anyway, uh, Makwi, the, the young Taiwanese player, he's gone on loan to Udinese for the season, so, uh, for the remainder of the season, at least. No fees involved. We want to keep him, but I can't use him this season. So hopefully Volpato moves out, goes to one of the other clubs and won't come back to bite us on the bum. And then I can register Otto Graziani. And we can start training him to play on the wing or in midfield. Because right now, all I can do is attacking mid. And that's not ideal. Anyway, squad is unchanged from the last match. But we're going to go through it anyway. Because that's what we do in these videos. So, Fruta Lingol, Gallo, Mark and Dali, Valukovic and Perozzi as the back four. Segre in behind Ranokia and Obienski. Then Saidi, Shona and Evandro up front. Let us get into the game. We still can't feel a bench. Oh, itchy nose. Try not to sneeze. Apologies. Uh, we just don't have enough players to fill it. But again, a 15-man bench is insane, Syria. What are you doing? It's too many players. I don't know how anyone keeps all their players fit in this league other than crazy rotation. And I've tried that, but then when we do it, we can't play our way out of a wet paper bag. So we've <laughs> given up on that experiment. But we're away today against Sassuolo. We've got some previous with some good matches, some bad matches so far in our uh, existence here at the club. And I'd like to get a really good result. See Vandro pop up with another goal. Hopefully uh, a better performance from Chona would be delightful. He's not being terrible, but I want to see more from him. Uh, but the first highlight belongs to Sassuolo, which I don't care for. And they've missed an absolute sitter. Or oh, Fruitjo's made the save from the look of it. Oh, that defender got a boot on it. Regardless, they've got a corner. And we need to have our wits about us and get the ball out of danger areas. I don't know if that was a defensive header or an attacking header. But it's gone out for a corner. And they're putting us under some pressure only. Only eight minutes gone. Fruitjo's come out to claim and claims well. Highlight just ends, but I'm going to take that as a good thing. I don't like it when teams put us under pressure. That's what I want to do to them. As things stand, uh, they still have a game on us, Juventus, but even with a draw, we go above them temporarily, which would be rather nice. We're not creating anything worthwhile. Uh, let me just try turning on work ball in the box. We kind of bounce around between... The work ball into box instruction and leaving it off sometimes it pays off and we get more fruitful attacks and sometimes it just means yeah we don't have a shot on target in the first half like at all so he's in and shoots blazes over the keeper's made a save nearly signs of life so this might be one occasion where the work ball into box thing works which is great there's mark and darling out to Urbanski. plays it out wide to Chayuma. back to Urbanski. he's fouled there and the ref hasn't blown his whistle that should have been a penalty Serie A is rigged and i'm gonna appeal to the authorities because obviously there's some shenanigans going on from sassuolo just a camera here just floating in midair doing its thing that's not even where you go camera like we don't even get an angle with that view ever some palm trees over there lovely stuff anyway let's stop looking at the scenery uh, it's time for everyone to dig in. Uh, pump the fists. You weren't that bad. None of you were that bad, but you weren't that good either. And we're not winning, more importantly. And winning's what we're here for. Chiyuma has not played well, so I'm going to yell at him. Demand more. We'll demand more from Saini as well. And from Evandro. Come on, lads. You're better than this. All of you. Walu as well on a 6.5. That's not fantastic. That's 60 minutes gone. Shuma's got to come off because it's just infuriating me. Uh, that's that done. Uh, pause the game, GP. Things are going on behind you. I might move Walu up and substitute Segre and bring on 
Maturo, and then we'll just swap these guys over. He can't really play Libero, so change of plan. And I think that will do for now. Yes. <laughs> Took me a minute to make the decision, but the decision's made. Here we go. Give that 10 minutes to see what happens. I'm not going to go attacking. Take a draw in this one. Not that fast. But we should be beating Sassuolo. We're higher up in the table than them. That was a good effort, but it's hit the woodwork. Hugo Sotelo. Why do I know that name? We had him on loan. That's why I know that name. <laughs> I thought he was familiar. There you go. Um... Yeah, nothing's really happening, and a couple of players are now dead on their feet. So Abanski can come off, Vasic can come on for him. That's an easy change. Gallo at left back is tired. I guess we could push Maturo out. Oh, Rotsi's tired as well. Push Maturo out there. Bring Ratnik inside, and then Bataro could come on that side. And that freshens up the back line. It weakens the back line, but it freshens it up. Okay. Bataro's nervous, which isn't great. Uh, give a team talk to Bataro. Let's uh, pump the fist. I never do this. Uh Trust you to make an impact. Bataro is still nervous. Confirm the substitution. I never talk to players when I'm subbing them on. I've never seen it work. But I tried it with Bataro. I was trying to get him to not be nervous. And I probably just made him more nervous and he's going to watch it. Oh, that's a good ball through for Evandro. And Evandro scored. Oh, lovely ball from, once again, the gift that keeps on giving. Maybe that's the future of the club. With Evandro up front. And uh, Sikakane on the right. I still can't decide how to pronounce his name. Sikakane, Sikane. Yeah. i go with Sikane because it works. It's fine. I won't mind. Uh, apologies to any of our South African friends if I am just butchering the pronunciation of his name. But it's the best I can do. I'm an Australian. We barely speak English. So what more do you want from me? I'm doing my best here, people. Oh, it's all entertainment. Everybody just relax. Take a deep breath. Enjoy the fact that we're 1-0 up. But this team, more than any other I've ever managed in football manager, is entirely capable of throwing away a perfectly good lead. Just like that. The ref's going to have another look at it. It's going to go to VAR, but this guy's probably going to get given. No, it's been disallowed. Lovely stuff. More often than not, we do cough up late goals because players just get exhausted. And as we discussed earlier, I don't rotate properly. I don't know how to do it. I'm not interested in learning. But a couple of minutes to go. Just hold on, boys. This is a huge result if we can get it. And we do. We open up the the, the goat. Why was I going to say we open up? Let's not open up any goats. That doesn't sound like a good thing to do. Uh, Evandro, with a goal, scored the winner. He is possibly, hopefully, let's not jinx it, but... That's two games in a row he has scored in. He's not done that before. And I think that's a promising sign that maybe, maybe he's starting to settle in. I don't even know if he speaks Italian yet. I don't even know if I speak Italian yet, to be honest. Not, I don't in real life. Uh, so where does that leave us? Let's get out of this screen. We'll go through this bit. And then we'll have a look at the league table properly and uh, evaluate some permutations. There's Volpato. Uh, playing really well for Australia at the Asian Cup against North Korea, but it's North Korea and they're not a great squad. Uh, Garen Kowal had a good game as well and got a goal. Did Valparto score? No, but he got an assist, probably to set up his teammate, Garen Kowal. Uh, again, I really I don't want to sell Valparto, but I just kind of have to. Have a loan target, sir. Uh, a seven while you're out on loan. Beautiful. And whatever I promise you when you come back, I'm not going to stick to it. Anyway, competition-wise, we still have the Copa Italia, our very next match, in just two days. So those tired players are going to be a problem. We face Atalanta away. I don't care about the Copa Italia. We've already done our job by getting to the next round. So, meh. 
in the league. Let's have a closer look. So Milan are top with 41 points. We're on 38. So we're only three points behind Milan. They do have a game in hand, as do Inter, who are on 40. Uh, same amount of games played. One point behind Roma. And we are three points ahead of Juventus, who have a game in hand and a bit of goal difference. But we are seven points clear of Fiorentina and eight points clear of Sassuolo, nine points clear of Napoli. You can do maths. Ten points clear of Atalanta, 12 on Lazio. I might as well go all the way down the table. I'm, I'm pot committed at this point to just reading out numbers. We're not going to do that. But that is a very, very interesting situation to find ourselves in. We could still finish bottom of the league if everything goes haywire. Let's just give these guys a pat in the head for training while he's doing well. So that being the case, we need to figure out when we're going to come back and show you guys what is going on. Uh, I've probably jumped too far forward in that last one. So we might come back sooner rather than later. I think what we might do is come back for, that's a long time. We'll come back for Milan away and Como. I think that's a good couple of games. Uh, I don't know if we've already played Milan in an episode this season. Torino and Milan. I don't think we did that. That doesn't sound like something we do. Uh, yeah. That's a go. Milan and Como. And then the transfer. Actually, scratch that. We'll come back for Juve and Lazio. Juventus and Lazio. Uh, obviously, Juventus just below us in the league. Lazio mid-table, but that's decent. And then we can catch up on the transfer business. I can let you know if Alparto moves on, if we're able to get old mate registered, uh, Graziani, whatever his name is. And then we'll press on f from there, I think. Right, I've got a plan. You'll be able to see that episode more than likely uh, whenever the next weekday is after this one comes out. I've lost track of the day. <laughs> Enjoy if you've had a good time watching us win two games in a row, which is awesome, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. The comments really help. You're not doing it. You know who you are. Just a quick one. Hi, DB. Good work. You're awesome. That'd be great. But until next time, I shall see you next time. Say hi to your mum for me and be good. If you can't be good, don't get caught. Or get caught. Whatever. I'm not the boss of you. Bye. Oh, Oh, <laughs>